Another day at the office. Employees gather around a conference table for the morning meeting. But for the peacekeepers of Stockton, the topic isn't accounts, budgets, or reports. The topic this day and every day is changing lives and saving lives. Day by day, little by little, we're making a difference. And when they know that you care, that's when the change will start. So we keep plugging away, we keep letting them know, hey, we're there for you. In a city with high gang involvement, plagued by generations of violence, the peacekeepers, outreach workers for the city of Stockton, take on the daunting task of redirecting troubled youth and young adults away from violence. There's an estimated 60 gangs and 3,000 gang members in Stockton today. It puts us in, in danger every day. What motivates us to do what we do just drives us to go beyond the fear that we may have and the danger that could be associated with our work. Peacekeepers also go to crime scenes and sometimes hospitals following a shooting. It's not to console, but to prevent any further violence. Our job is to get in there and try and stop any retaliation from occurring. At the hospitals where you get most of your friends and relatives, and if they're plotting anything, it would be between the friends, and we want to stop that. We want to let them know that that's not the answer. There's enough bloodshed already. Operation Peacekeeper began in 1998 with Jose Gomez. At times, he was the only peacekeeper. Eventually, there were two, and then four. Today, there are eight. But the goal stays the same, build relationships, with current gang members to gain their trust, to convey a message of hope. You make a difference in this world and, you know, encouraging them that they can do better, you know. Um, don't worry about what happened in the past. Let's move forward. Let's move forward, one step at a time. If they want to talk about some of the issues they're having at home, I'll take them out in the basketball court. We'll shoot hoops, you know. I took a guy two weeks ago and we went golfing. It may be a ride to a job interview or the DMV for a driver's license. New experiences like trips to the mountains, the Bay Area, even a local college just outside the neighborhood. When you go to the university, I mean, you step on that campus, I mean, it gives you a feeling out of this world. And a lot of our youth have never experienced that. So I took him on a tour and he was starting to think about all the different majors that he could major in and the possibilities of his life and his future. Stockton's peacekeepers are part of the city's Office of Violence Prevention. They're able to reach out and earn the trust of the city's most violent residents because in most cases, they've lived a variation of that same street life. I tell them uh, when they're in juvenile hall and I go to visit, I've been here before at County, I've been here too. 21-year-old Jose Aragon was on track to be another gang casualty. But one day, after a street fight, instead of being hauled off to jail, police put him in touch with a peacekeeper. He said he cared. He told me that he wanted to help me. And that, like, that's really what kept me around. I see success, you know, not failure. Thanks to the peacekeepers, they helped me out. They really did. And there are many others who've benefited from peacekeepers. This young man now has a skilled job in construction. He has had neck tattoos removed to improve his job chances. Christian Gonzalez is not only working full time, he's hoping to buy a house for his mom and siblings. I got out of the gang. I graduated high school two months early. And then from there, it's just been on a roll, job after job and success after success. It's those stories that bring the peacekeepers back to work each day, knowing they're making a difference, knowing they're saving lives, strengthening families, and making a city safer.